This is gonna get real weird. <laughs> This guy's toast. Hold up. I'm wondering if I should use the prep as just uh, plus two plus two. Maybe. Let's do this first. Prep for plus two plus two. How much is this right now? It's an eight eight. I can make it a ten ten. If you place the Elefante, I want to be able to prep Valspine it. Hmm. I think I'll do it. I won't do it. Only because of Valspine. If I didn't have Valspine, I think I would just make this a 10 10. But because I have Valspine, um, there is some value in holding an activator for it. Yeah. As you can see, chat, th there is a small downside to having Legend. Ah oh, man, do the counterfeit coin. Let's see why we get off this first. I think we're always trading this into make room anyway. Oh, what you look at that? Which one is less valuable? Is it prep or is it Valspine? I mean, sorry. Do we use the prep or the coin to activate? What do you think, chat? Hey, lights out. That's a pretty good question. Pretty good. Because I don't have any spell, I think prep can be used. I don't say prep. Because I don't have Eviscerate, nor do I have Phantom Knives. Although I think it is slightly better with Auctioneer. Eh, I mean, it's a decision. I don't think one is that bad compared to the other, but. At the same time, I feel like there's a world where there's a statistical analysis of which one's objectively better. Mm. Holy shit! <laughs> Keep my minions at four if possible. I mean, at three if possible. Oh my god, no, this is so reading. <sighs> it's not a terrible vanish. <sighs> is it a good vanish though? If I play auctioneer, how hard would I get punished by, eh, whatever. There's no point to save the coin, in my opinion. I like the Vanish, because it is Jade Druid. If I Vanish, I have the cards back in my hand, but I give him a turn to build the board. Should I kept prep? Very hindsighty, but... Not inaccurate. My thoughts are plagued. Coon. With ultimate infestation. Oh wait, he can ultimate. Because he innovated. I hope you knew that before you made this play. This is gonna get real weird. <laughs> Feels weird, man. Time slips by.
Okay. This is happening, I guess. We're going for the record amount of coons played in one game. Wow, I gave charge to one of my coons and poached a man of sisters 2-3? Okay. No! Oh, yes! Yes! The only downside is uh, MC Tech on the 9-3, in which I cry. Praise Yogg. Praise him. He used both Spreading Plague, his Malfuria, and one Jade Behemoth. He's very low on taunts. There's also the upside of having repentance. Whoa, what was that? That's a weird trait. Repentance is good in case he wants to go J Behemoth. Victory! Whoa, Feral Rage in 2016. That's unique. You should generally wild growth first if you plan to wild growth. Victory, baby! Do you want to open the chest? Uh, Toast, you should just win against this roping J Druid. Yes, yes. But we can figure out what's in the chest. Now we should kill him, we should kill him. But the chest can hold anything. Alright guys, I got I got, I got, I got to know what's in the chest. Ooh, wondrous wand! And look, we also get two patches. You know what's the best thing about these patches? Um, if you MC tags, we'll probably get the pa patches. So how many coons will play this game? Seven coons? Two and then three and then two of his, right? This was a very coon heavy game. Rope him when you get lethal, there's no reason. As Gandhi once said, Eye for an eye makes the whole world have less eyes. Seven coons, pretty good. Hey, lights out.